This is the Geneva Shore Report coming to you from downtown Lake Geneva at the beach. I will cant around the camera here so you can check out the birds who are having nothing to do with us today, or at least me. I take it personally. So fine, they don't get hot dogs, they don't get crackers. Anyway, there's the lake out there, and uh, it's a kind of a blowy gray day today. The sun is over there. The Riviera Fear Complex is over there. Why am I mentioning all this? Because I'm about to turn because I was informed that if I stand with my back to the camera or my back to the wind, that the, the sound will be better for, for the reporters. So I'm going to try that as I turn around here. And the only problem is the background is, a, well, the background is a little, you know, you can see it. It's not exactly the lake and the Riviera and all that stuff. Uh, anyway, we are here on... It is Monday morning, November 9th. 2020. I'm Lisa Otto, Jen Lepkow. And George Bush Jr. And the Geneva Show Report. Now someone, someone should write in and say... If they can hear us better. If, if you yeah. can hear us better, okay. So I'm waiting. There's okay. Frank. Frank Burns Eats Worms is watching. Okay, good morning, Frank. Good morning. Yeah. Happy Monday. Early yeah. bird gets the worm. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, well, as far as... Frank is not real happy about the, the election results. Oh. No. So we're sympathizing this morning. Sorry, Frank. Oh, hang in there, Frank. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, we are here for the Monday morning news report. And in the news, well, another beautiful uh, fall day here in Lake Geneva. A lot going on around the area. But let's get down to the meetings tonight. Yes. We have a tourism commission at 4 p.m. and then a city council at 6 p.m. We will be at the meetings. We'll be sharing them with you. Yes, and the tourism, okay, so visit Lake Geneva. They're gonna be there for their grant for the ice sculptures for downtown, for oh, the ice yeah. sculpture walk. I loved yes. that. That was a really was a great hit, and the yeah. kids love taking pictures with them. So they're hoping to help bring the cost down for the business. Yes. So I'm really excited to hear what happens with that. Oh yeah, me too. And they were placed all around the downtown area. So when you walk downtown, you had really cool ice sculptures to look at and then when you headed to the lake you got had the winter fest um snow sculpture competition sculptures so it, it was, was a, a great hit. it was a great hit yeah it was a great mix of the two yes and it brought downtown and the lake together so okay we also have ice castles coming this year yes. they are going to be at the geneva national um property once again they'll be over by the golf course by the the putting area yeah more yes not directly on the lake right. hoping that shade will help yes and it'll Keep be a it little smaller cooler. yeah they're gonna try to extend its life <laughs> and it, it didn't last real long last year no. so and well, this year they're not anticipating to open till january right. so that'll give them a little more time yeah to finish too okay and what else do we have do we have any good national days no. national no. louisiana day oh hi louisiana <laughs> But the windows downtown oh, yeah. are, they can start decorating. There's a few that have started, mm -hmm. but it's still a work in progress. It's still early. They have until the 12th to finish their window displays. And then on the 13th and 14th, the holiday open house um, begins around downtown Lake Geneva. And judging also begins on the window displays. A classic Christmas movie, song, story, anything old fashioned, classic Christmas something. So. It'll be a great thing to see. It seems a little odd to have Christmas decorations being um, prepared and put up already because it's so nice. Like, it's non-jacket weather right now. So, I know. It's throwing things off I know. a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I don't even have... It's cooler it's by be, the lake. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have a wool shirt on and it seems to be enough. You know, yeah, I mean, uh, so that that's comforting. I mean, that's all I, I wore this morning and then... Even in the wind, it's it's quite right. satisfactory. Yeah. I mean, when you're not in the wind, it's, it's, it's a little warm. warm. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. okay, a hard day to dress for. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Other than that. Oh well, look! Oh, the sun just yeah, came out. Oh, gorgeous. how nice! Okay, that will warm things up. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's going to be not the perfect sun, but it's still the sun. We'll take it. Yes, we'll take it. I was optimistic. <laughs> I thought it was going to be sunnier this morning. So, okay. We'll be back uh, later today with more Weather Road and News Reports. I'm Lisa Otto. John Lovecoast. And George Blucher Jr. And the Geneva Show Report. Bye-bye.